Hey guys, time to install the Cave Gen mod. And how do you install it? Well, first you're gonna click the link in the description. You're gonna be here. Scroll down, not that far, but down to the download and the links and stuff. You're gonna click. You wanna open this in a new tab? Or well, first click this direct download on the latest version and you want to click the latest download so you can click any three of these you want um, direct and this direct and all that if you do add flight it will help this guy and he gets paid and stuff but if but if you don't want to do that then you click direct download or this one once you download that, I have it right here. Click Mod Loader. I have it right here. So I'm going to click Add Fly Direct. These two are the downloads, but these are just like for uh, modders so they can edit and stuff. Uh, Add Fly Support and Direct is just Direct, and you're a jerk if you don't. But click Direct or Add Fly, and I have it right here. And I have them both saved to here. You're supposed you, you can save them. They're probably in your downloads folder, or you save them or ran them. If you have them both open, that's okay. But I'm gonna open them both here. Wanna actually put them both on one side? That's what I'm doing. See, so I have the cave gem mod here. Go to the other one, and I recommend having one RAR for this, but you can do the other the one that's default. And I have a cluttered desktop, but and I'm using the free version because my Minecraft account got hacked. So yeah, um, but if you're on the paid version, where you have a paid account you can uh, when you open it you can see options and log in and then you type in that stuff but if you see options you don't click force update under that it should have this link and if you click that it goes to your minecraft folder and if you go to your bin then you see this minecraft it should say that jar or minecraft inside your bin okay sorry about that um, uh, as I was saying this minecraft do you you wanna right click it open with and then winrar or winzip whatever archiver you use the program that you use to open the other ones so I like to put it the opposite way of these guys so like have this here and you can just do this by dragging it to the side all the way and you can also yeah you you know how it is um but first you want to do see this made at inf yeah you delete it yeah why you do it I don't know but if you don't your mods do not work and you want your mods to work so yeah now I'm just gonna open this one put that in there and it should have worked um okay so let's minimize everything we're gonna go into okay that was weird you shouldn't do that but that's just a free launcher but you should be opening minecraft on your desktop whatever click enter game and then should work yeah it worked for me um, I'm gonna create a new world make it creative which biomes caves okay let's create it reading world what <laughs> building terrain and let's see if it worked looks like it did but it spawned in the air weird okay so yeah looks like it worked I'm gonna 
see I got the shard yeah you know what it is okay let's get four of them and make that lantern if you get four of these you can make a lantern there's some coal there and there's those but the guy who made the mod said uh, crap I, I don't know if I have cheats on game mode Zero? Yes. Okay. And then you get Shard Lantern, which is pretty cool. Uh, this mod's probably going to get a lot bigger as it goes on, but look at this. And this is... Oh, crap. I forgot. <laughs> this is going to be really hard. To, like, uh, you know, fight but this is pretty cool it's all underground completely I'm like it's just the world not loading so it's all underground it's pretty cool so hopefully this worked for you if it didn't uh... tell me what's tell me like why isn't it working i guess or if it's not working then if you need help i guess put it in the comments and that will do it uh, <laughs> um, thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and I will see you later in a different video and yeah peace